we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun The day has finally come to get a solar panel on the roof of my minivan it's early in the morning. I have a long drive across the center of Florida. I'm leaving from Dunedin, Florida, where I graduated from high school a long time ago. I was staying in the driveway of a very dear friend. It was a nice rest, but it's time to hit the road. I'm traveling all the way across the state of Florida to DeLand to get a solar panel on my roof. I've been waiting for this and preparing for this and making changes. So it's a very exciting day for me. I don't even mind the drive. Leaving so early means there won't be too much traffic. I'm heading across the causeway from Clearwater to Tampa. You can see Tampa way in the distance there. I got here earlier than I thought I would. So here's what we've got. Is it usually 200 watts you put up there? Uh, I think I put 400 on that one. But she had a roof rack that actually sat off the roof, like right. more like a traditional roof rack. Right. And then we put two 200 watt panels across. Well, since I have a battery in my refrigerator, I'm thinking 200 watts ought to keep me going. First, of course, they have to thoroughly clean the top of the van. There are some two inch ridges that run the length of the van and that's where they're going to attach some very strong adhesive tape to hold the solar panel on. Makes a nice little work table here. <laughs> yeah. I don't want your door to hit in. I don't want to bring it through the water seal because I don't right. want it to seal to like leak. that. I can probably bring it through somewhere over here and sneak it around and yeah. then I'll keep it from leaking. I'm all, I'm just gonna lay the strips and then we'll just and then we'll, drop yep, we'll drop it on. Should be like you know what I mean, like this dot just on the outside of the yeah. ridge. Yep. So that's how we're going to line it. Okay. And you want me to peel my two and then I'll stick my two and then you can yep. bend it up and peel your two. Let's do that. You hold your end and then I'll drop mine. I've seen where people do this one person by themselves. <laughs> can be done, it's just a little harder. A little bit yeah, harder. I, I wouldn't attempt that. I want to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. So I need to get a duster, right? Or something with a handle to clean it once in a while? Yeah, every now and then you do want to. Yeah. Wanna... And how about car wash? Fine. Car wash should be fine. No, no problem. I'm really just trying to check to see where the gap is and how close it's going to be to make sure that when this thing closes it's not going to squish the wire. Right. And then see where I can come through up here or whether I need to come through a little bit on the side just to make sure that everything stays good when you open and close it a million times. Right, that it doesn't wear out the wire. Exactly. That's what I would worry about. here it looks like there's a little bit of a gap I can kind of see my finger in there mm -hmm. so that means it should be able to slide right through here and then we're gonna try to bring it through behind some of this and seal all the hole up good and so try to make it as stealth as possible it's super thick compared to a normal wire yeah that's good so right <laughs> that, yeah that would be the insulation on a normal wire yeah and that would be it on a solar so it's, it's mm. much better to use an actual solar wire made for it yeah, and this heat shrink is like a dual wall, so it's pretty thick. Everything that leaves here, we try to make sure it's going to last. Do people bring their own vans usually, or, or do um, you do them? Um... We, we have a lot of vans ourselves. 
that we have it in inventory because it was hard there for a while to get Pro Masters and stuff. So right. we we have quite a few in inventory. I think we got four or five out there, and then a lot of people bring us their van too. And okay. It's Custom Coach Creations. All right, good. And what's your name? My name's Robert. Thanks. I'm the electrician. Electric. Well, you're the right one for this job. That's right. <laughs> now we will, you know, build out a used van. So we try to stick to new stuff. It just there's less problems yeah but if you do have a used van and we do them all the time we do projects on used vans all the time so okay. if you do have one we will build it out or do whatever you need done to it very so. good that's why custom is in the name of the company that's exactly right So my name is James. I'm the general manager here at Custom Coach Creations. I talked to Robert about uh, how you do, people bring their own vans, sometimes a used one, sometimes new. Yes, ma'am. And that you have a few for sale now, right? Yes, ma'am. Uh, so they just need to contact you. Tell me the phone number again. It's 386-469-9573. All right, right here in DeLand. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, we have a few models that we created to be turnkey models, but for the most part, we're, we're a custom builder. All right, and they do small jobs too, like this. I mean, it's fairly simple. I mean, you just clean the roof really well. Um, you know, then you lay your uh, two-sided tape down, put the panel on, find your route. Uh, you know, you are going to have to make a penetration into the van, but obviously you try to make it, you know, somewhere where it's not going to have any issues. Use grommets to protect the wires, and then we'll even seal this up too. Right. So that way no water infiltration can go into the vehicle. Um, from any of the modifications that we make. And there, and you're protecting the wire from uh, wear and tear when the hatch closes too. Yeah, when the hatch closes, but really, I mean, it's there is actually, believe it or not, a little bit of a gap there, so it's really not going to, but yeah, we're gonna add a little extra protection to it. Okay. Um, the main thing is here, and making sure you grommet this and seal it up, and right. reason being is oh, it's a vehicle, it's a moving thing, you know, so over time, rubbing and just you know there is going to be some movement it could short out a wire but when you put this grommet here and you seal it up to prevent mm -hmm. any movement then you're not going to have any issues even five years down the road nice and this you've put some extra on that wire there too did you you put that there on the wire you yeah when we bring it up here we're going to heat shrink that on and that's just going to help uh, protect it where it does come in um, through the hatch Avoid a car wash for at least 24 hours. Oh, it just got washed. I'm glad I did that. Yeah, that way the uh, stick that we put in that hole will cure fully. Yep. Um, you need to stick your I think that's going to be a good spot right there, but let's see okay. it close. Look good, looks good, looks good. Oh, yeah, that's perfect right there. Yeah, that's, that's nice. Beautiful. Nice. It's not pinching it hard. That's perfect. I can. No, that solar wire is already double insulated, but. Oh yeah, this is just added. Oh yeah, the last of one is the solar panel, right? Nice. Twelve o'clock. Twelve o'clock. Sixty-nine percent. About to plug it in after he checks it. Yep. How much would I expect to get in on a nice day like today? Am I in the shade at all? Probably, yeah. Yeah, probably a good 10, 10, 11 amps. Now we're talking up to 79%, getting 118 in. It's 2 o'clock. It's been running for two hours, and we're at 88%. It's putting out 108 watts. This video is not sponsored, but you can find a link to a discount on the All Powers S2000 in the video description below. Watch for future off-grid videos about using portable solar panels, managing power for various appliances with the All Powers S2000. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.